With Kyler Murray's latest injury taking him out of the 2022 season and a lot of mystery going into the 2023 season, the Arizona Cardinals seem to be in very, very big trouble. What's going on Arizona sports fan family? Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Definitely do me one huge favor. Smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. Now, as Arizona Cardinal fans, right now we are sitting at 4-9 and nine on the season. Obviously, this season has completely gone upside down. We had a little hope of the playoffs, and I mean a very small glimmer of hope. But unfortunately, now that, you know, Kyler Murray has gone down and is, and is gone for the rest of the 2022 season and possibly some of the 2023 season, there's not a lot of hope for the Arizona Cardinal fans at least as of right now, but it does open up a lot of questions. What are the Arizona Cardinals going to do for the future? This offseason is going to be absolutely wild for the Arizona Cardinals. Now, I could automatically tell there's going to be a lot of people going into the comments saying, Mike, get rid of Kyler. We need a six-foot-something quarterback. At this very moment, I'm not going to humor the fact that the Arizona Cardinals are going to move off of him. Not that I want to or not that I don't want to. It's just that let the young man recover, rehab, and it, when he gets healthy, we can kind of humor them. At least as of right now, just kind of let him do his thing. You know, he needs to get surgery. He needs to kind of get better. So we're not going to humor the fact of getting rid of Kyler or moving off of Kyler at this very moment. But, you know, there's kind of a lot of murkiness, right? A lot of unknown coming into this offseason as well, because in the last offseason, Kyler got extended, Kime got extended, as well as Cliff Kingsbury. Now, I was a fan of Kyler's extension, truly I was, but now obviously it's hindsight. I'm like, oh, maybe we probably should have waited one other year, right? And I think this is one of the main reasons why he was trying to fight for that contract because if you really think about it, the Arizona Cardinals could have probably, you know, kicked Kyler Murray to the curve. And and as a person, the person that would be really kind of messed up, but I get the business side of it all. So that's what one of the main reasons that Kyler Murray was trying to get this extension for, and he won. Now, there was two other extensions given out in the 2022 offseason, and that was, you know, Cliff Kingsbury as well as Steve Kime. Now, nobody in the Arizona area thought that this was the best idea at all. Nobody wanted this extension at all, except for obviously Michael Bidwell. Now, he's really going to have to look himself in the mirror and say, you know, hey, is this going to be the duo that I'm going to have to, you know, follow through for the, for the foreseeable future? Now, obviously, Cliff Kingsbury and Steve Kime seem to be in the hot seat again right after they, they signed their contract extensions, which is a really weird situation, but I don't think anybody saw at least as of right now, that we're a four-win team, right? Now, if we take a look at the rest of the schedule, we might have one or two more wins. That's kind of being optimistic, at least in my mind. But realistically, this Arizona Cardinal organization and franchise have a lot of decisions to make moving forward to the 2023 season and beyond. Now, when Kyler Murray did sign his contract, a lot of people don't know. They just look at the big number, right? They say that he was extended for $230 million, $160 million guarantee. But this was the year, either this year or next year was the year that the Arizona Cardinals had to go for the Super Bowl. Whether you say the Cardinals were ready for the Super Bowl or not, this was the year for it, right? Now, on paper, we had the weapons, but our offensive line was absolutely crap. But this was the year in 2022 or 2023. Now, granted, yes, obviously, the, the actual real years in his rookie years when we're paying him next to nothing. But because he got the extension, he was still not hitting the cap very much. In 2022, his cap you know, hit against our salary salary cap was $12 million, uh, $600,000. I'm just rounding up around $12 uh, million, close to $13 million. Now, next year is going to be $16 million towards the cap hit. In 2024, 2025, and 2026, and 2027, we're starting to look at $40 million and above, and that's starting in 2024. So it's very concerning to, to kind of be in this situation right now as Arizona Cardinal fans because... 2022 was supposed to be the year of the Super Bowl, also 2023, and being that we might not have Kyler Murray for the full 2023 season, it's very concerning. Now, obviously, with his injury, he got a tear in the ACL. Now, we need to kind of wait for, like, the extent of how bad that tear is, right? I know it's going to determine between, you know, six months to eight months to nine months to a year, right? It could be kind of anything for the Arizona Cardinals pertaining to, you know, how long Kyler Murray is going to be gone for, but we're going to know that maybe later on once the swelling goes down, but but man, it's definitely not a good situation to be in as an Arizona Cardinal fan. Now, there's a few theories kind of being thrown around right now pertaining to Cliff Kingsbury and, and Steve Kime being in the hot seat. Uh, there's one of them saying that, now, I'm not a fan of this one, just FYI, full disclaimer, I'm not a fan of this one, but one, one person ended up saying that, you know, this might be a blessing in disguise for Cliff Kingsbury because it's hard to move off of Cliff Kingsbury being that the franchise quarterback in Kyler Murray is not going to be there and it would be unfair to bring a head coach in that, you know, he doesn't have everything established. And let's be honest, Kyler Murray 
library. He's not going to be able to learn the playbook. At least, you know, he can read it, but he's not going to be able to actually work it out uh, on the practice field. So there's some people saying that this injury is a blessing for not not so much a blessing. Let me let me rephrase the word because obviously it sounds bad, right? But this is going to be kind of one of those things that it can save Cliff Kingsbury's job is what I'm trying to say uh, because it wouldn't be fair to bring in another head coach to not have Kyler Murray learn the new system and it's not fair for the new coach coming in and, and stuff like that. Now, like I said, I'm not a fan of this this theory at all. I'm, I'm in the boat of bringing a new head coach. I would prefer a Sean Payton. Now, I get it. It's a long shot, but if we did bring a Sean Payton, give him a redshirt year, right? Maybe give him something to be like, hey, you know, this is your rebuilding year and obviously as Arizona Cardinal fans, we're we're familiar with rebuilding years, right? We're almost kind of seem to be a fan base. We're like, oh, progression, right? Progression. So I think if we get any more than five to six wins with a new head coach, I think that's a win because we're always going to look in a step in the right direction, right? I think that's kind of what we're programmed to think because we're Arizona Cardinal fans. We're, we're not used to greatness once we're sucking, right? We, we always believe in the latter uh, and how we're going to get better and better. But, you know, obviously Sean Payton would be the, the huge asset, right? A huge signing for the Arizona Cardinals. But realistically, I know the Saints were probably going to want a lot of first round picks, maybe just a lot of multiple high round picks. And I don't know if the Arizona Cardinals are going to want to, you know, kind of put that out as well as, you know, offer him a very, very big hefty contract to, to kind of get him to to coach in the Arizona Cardinals. And I know there's some people saying that Sean Payton probably doesn't want to come to this disastrous of a organization because Steve Kime is here, right? Steve Kime is the GM and Sean Payton did come over here. He's going to want to get that, that full autonomy, the full control being the GM and head coach. Well, granted, he probably won't be the, the GM title, but he will still be having a full, you know, dosage of the decision making come the draft and free agency so I know that's going to be what Sean Payton wants and I don't know if Michael Biddle is going to be wanting to relinquish that um, so that's kind of a lot to kind of obviously look forward to but you know this Cardinals organization had their they had a perfect thing going right with with Kyler Murray coming in here right they really did Kyler Murray is uh, or at least played very very well in his second and third year and he's made the progression to be an almost MVP candidate now obviously the way that this season has shook out it really has hurt his stock in general there's a lot of people that don't believe in Kyler Murray again even including in the fan base now I'm not going to sit here and try to convince you that Kyler Murray is a good quarterback that's completely your decision I'm still going to be rolling with him until he gets traded out because obviously he's my quarterback and we're gonna have to roll with it right now there's another theory out there saying that you know the Arizona Cardinals can possibly you know get a quarterback maybe not in the first round but the second or the third round to to be able to get somebody here in the new coach's eyes right to kind of build some sort of you know quarterback competition type of thing now that quarterback that does come in needs to be under the understanding that he's a backup quarterback right like that he's going to be the guy that is going to be backing up Kyler Murray so there's also that one which I don't think it has too much weight into that one as well now the Arizona Cardinals I don't know what the hell they're going to do honestly um, because it's Steve Kime still making the decision and until he's fired I don't think I'm going to have 100% confidence in his idea of building the next rebuild mode so at least at this very moment we'll have to kind of wait and see how it all shakes out but the Arizona Cardinals have a lot of things to try to work out in this offseason right are we going to fire the head coach the GM what are we going to do for the quarterback situation it's all up in the air as of right now I'm going to try to make a plan of my own at maybe towards the end of the season to kind of figure out where we are at in the draft as well as you know what free agents are we're looking at to, to possibly snag in free agency so all right guys let me know how you guys are feeling about this whole big situation with Kyler Murray going down. Let me know in the comments below, ladies and gentlemen. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day and go cards.